what's cooking good looking welcome back to i am sarita and i am sarita um yeah so this is like a life update a lot has happened a lot of changes happened and like i'm not really consistent on my channel so obviously like you see me with short hair now you see me with braids yeah so just go with the flow yeah so recently i've moved into rays and that will be what we are talking about today or what i am talking about today my experience so far it's only been four days but i was like you know what i want to talk about it and i'm talking about it so at the moment i'm at rays at uj and the experience so far has been it has been good it has been good in a sense that you have a lot of support and you are surrounded by people who are actually like not funny characters like you know they're not weird they are like normal. so so far like i'm in a double room right but i don't have a um a roommate yet so so she's she's still to come but in a way it has been good for me because I'm I'm very introverted. I'm like the only child on my mother's side, and I've always been on my own. So it's it's I I enjoy this. I enjoy my own space. I enjoy to be loud whenever I want to be, and nobody's here to like you know to look at me funny or whatever. Like I'm I'm like I'm being myself freely in the new environment, and it's been such an amazing way for me to adjust to this place and this new area as well as I've, I've been staying in Cape Town practically more than half of my life so now I'm here so so far I'm enjoying it like I said um yeah so at least Riz life okay I can't say I'm really into Riz life so far but I can talk about the Riz life at my Riz so at my rate, there's a lot of, um, more, it's more of a sisterhood that they're trying to make us like become. Obviously, we don't know each other yet, so we can't just be like, oh, you're my sister now, or whatever. But obviously, you have each other's backs because like you're all in a new environment, you're all adjusting, you're all most likely going through the same emotions and so forth, so forth, so forth. So there's been a lot of getting to know each other and here we sing wow let me first say here we greet here we sing here we are loud <laughs> here we sing we greet we are loud and here there's there's a, a demand for respect yeah there's a demand for respect in each and every single person the leadership the people that you're interacting with the first years as well i'm a first year last year i took a gap year so yeah i'm a first year so this video is for first years yeah so here is greeting here we have been tools which they have been amazing they have been so helpful with navigating the campus also like just giving you a bit of insight of what happens here the dangers the places where to go not to go as well as like just things that you as yourself you wouldn't have thought of but somebody who's experienced that the advice is very valuable so i've been very grateful for that and yeah so when we first like made the mentors obviously they told us the house rules and to be honest i wasn't feeling the house rules because it was like but like you sit down and then you think about it and, and then you're like, girl, you're just being unnecessary. <laughs> you're just being unnecessary. What do you mean? Uh, 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 this is not your house. Okay, this will become your house, but this is not your house. You don't get into somebody's home and then want to act funny. You don't get into someone's home and then you want to disrespect the house, you know? But it wasn't actually that. It was me thinking that certain things were unnecessary because okay it was unnecessary because it was kind of hard for me to do the things that needed to be done but with practice with doing the things that need to be done you get better and also over the days the mentors just like reaffirmed that like this it's not perfection 
that is wanted obviously at some point it will be perfection where you should know what to do but like you you try and you show that you try you know and when i realized that not even when i think on the second night that's when i was like you're just being unnecessary but when i realized that it was like you know what? okay i'm gonna try because like why make your life harder in a place where you're gonna stay the whole year or maybe even for the next three years why make things hard for yourself by trying to be mrs oh no i'm not gonna do that i don't like this or whatever just go with the flow and when you start to go with the flow things become so much easier things aren't like things aren't so like it's like you're not being forced anymore if you know what i mean like almost like when your mom tells you to clean okay that's a different story because that is being forced unless you're somebody who likes to clean oh me i used to fight with my mom not fight but like no i don't want to clean no, 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 no. like you know that feeling of you being forced but like on your own you can just do it without her asking i don't know if you know you know but anyway um yeah that was the vibe but i moved in on saturday that was the 6th of february 2022 when i moved in <laughs> i moved in i came with everything and i rec i recommend that you come with everything so come with your groceries your iron your kettle your food your okay i'm repeating but come with everything bring your whole life i i came with everything that i'm worth <laughs> to be honest i came with everything that i'm worth and um i'm glad i did because there are some people who are still going to like campus square to buy their groceries and like it's tough because now there's like no transport for you unless you order like a boat or an uber to bring you like to the gate but from the gate you're still gonna walk so like i feel like when you're moving in please do bring everything and then like if you're gonna buy things it's just small things that like will add on to what you have already but bring everything because it's going to be easier for you like when your parents um move, move in move you in yes when your parents help you out to move in like like you're not going to struggle with the load obviously we are here to help you but also just bring your things and yeah bring your things <laughs> yeah so um another thing yeah, so there was a day when I had to go get a student card. Yo, guys, that's when you realize this place is massive. Because we did do like a tour of the campus, right? But this was just ground floor where we walked around. Okay, the ground floor as well. It's not child's play. It's massive. Obviously, you're not going to go to certain parts where like you don't. That's not your area of studying or whatever. But it's massive so get yourself some good shoes get yourself some good shoes i personally if you want to donate to me some shoes please that are comfortable with running shoes preferably even though i'll be walking please do donate please do donate if you're going to donate um yeah just, my email is in my about and you can talk <laughs> but anyway yeah get yourself comfortable shoes because like this place is big and you will find yourself lost walking up and down with shoes that are hurting you are frustrated because you lost maybe or whatever but yeah you just need comfortable shoes yeah i was talking about the student card yeah so the ground floor there's a ground floor right when you're walking around or whatever but then you also still go up so you go up the stairs or up the elevator and there's still miles and miles and miles to walk am i exaggerating i don't think so but there's still so many yeah miles to walk so it's a lot so get comfortable shoes and comfortable clothing i feel like i've come to wear comfortable clothing i wear things that that i want to wear that don't make me feel uncomfortable yeah i'm just me so yeah but for other people comfortable clothing because again they're walking and if it's hot it's really hot here and yeah recently it's been raining which i like yeah anyway the next thing is yeah so we share a kitchen at Camino. that experience has been okay there's nothing bad i can say 
yeah it's been okay and like yeah for me personally i like to cook i don't like eating food that's not nice like even if it's popping stew that popping stew needs to like be popping and stewing. <laughs> no okay um yeah so it really needs to be like tasting nice so yeah i like to cook and i'll make sure that i cook i'm not lazy to cook but yeah if you oh another thing there's no sequence in this video i'm just blabbing out whatever comes to my mind you will need a fridge if you are somebody who is not into canned food or yeah or if you don't about be buying meat every day yesterday i had to well i didn't have to but i felt like it i bought beef yesterday and yeah i cooked it yesterday there's still some left over my room the temperature in this room is actually quite cold it's not too bad but it's quite cold it's cold enough that like if i open that part now it's like almost like it was in the fridge but it's not that cold but i'm just saying yeah it all makes it what do you know? <laughs> yeah so you need a fridge if you want meat also if you're gonna buy all your groceries at once like stuff that need to go in the fridge or if you're that person that like does meal preps is it a meal prep where you cook like a lot at once and then you freeze some of it you know that vibe yeah so what else do you need to know oh another thing is observe like race I, okay not observe race but like don't be one that's talking too much <laughs> not talking too much but don't be one i don't know i feel like observe your environment before you make yourself comfortable so that you know the steps to take because also like you don't know who's for you you don't know these people their loyalties don't lie with you yeah if you guys are watching i'm just saying you know i'm just saying don't come at me but like you don't know these people and just be kind be kind be kind to yourself as well if if you if you've done something wrong okay not done anything okay if you've done something wrong forgive yourself if you've done something wrong to somebody else ask for forgiveness but like um the last thing that i'd say is that you can never be prepared enough i think because for me i still need to get stationary i came to school <laughs> i came to school with food with clothing everything else no stationary what am i here to do i don't know i'm here to consume the air to look pretty <laughs> and just to be which is yeah but you can never be over prepared because there's always going to be something that needs more money on or something that you need to pay attention on or something is wrong at student finance i don't know but there's always something so you can never be prepared um watch youtube videos they help a lot like in terms of things that you need like you need an extension cord you need a two pin plug you need a fridge you need containers to like put your spoons in you need cups you need plates you need you need a lot of things you need things that you need in the house okay but yeah i hope okay this video is not meant to be informative this video is just me talking about my life at the moment yeah yeah this don't take this video as for it to be informative or anything like that it's just me talking about what's happening now where and this will be my new setting for my videos and i'll try to be more consistent because like i'm the most inconsistent person on youtube but this year yeah right this year though when i'm about to start school anyway with that i'm we move <laughs> we move and like yeah we can do both i can do school and i can do youtube so i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up like share and most importantly subscribe to my channel and yeah thank you for watching